Today, we're going to show you how to set up the Unify integration. Now, as a quick note, if you are going to be deploying this integration, it does have to be from the local or self-hosted version of Unify. To get started, we're going to go to our admin tab, scroll down to our integrations and account administration, and then select Unify. Now, what we're going to need is the Unify domain following this example below. Then we'll be using our main credentials for the username and password to authenticate this connection. Our first step is going to be entering in that information, just like that domain, as well as the username, password, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and choose some additional options. Now we can choose to skip some of the categories, like in this case, I don't wanna bring in any inactive companies. And for sake of the example, I'm also going to skip importing these different types of devices. I'm going to scroll all the way down, save those settings, and then I'm going to run a test connection. So here, I test my connection, and we've seen that this is a success, so I'm ready to hit OK and start that sync. Now, this might take a couple minutes as we are bringing in the new data and getting ready to match those companies. Now that sync is complete, I'll go to match my sites. In this case, I'll be bringing in a few, and we can see that if Hoodoo has a match, we'll suggest a place to go. If not, we will also be able to create a new company to match what we found in your integration. In this case here, we see that we have a couple, so we'll accept that match and bring over those entities. After matching, we're gonna do an additional sync. So I'm going to stop, and restart that second sync. With that next section done, I can now dive into our edit settings and go through further points of filtering the entities coming through. In this case, we can choose which types of unified devices to skip. Now, these unified devices are categorized differently than the asset layouts, just due to how they're identified through the integration. So we will have the option of also assigning these to specific asset layouts through the additional sort rules. In this case though, I don't need any of these devices coming through. So if I check these off, they will be skipped. Down below, we have the further filtering options. Here we have the primary sync location, which we'll just have for computer assets in this case. The other sort rules here are the client non-Unify and other device types. So in this case, if we want to assign them to our networks or other asset layouts, this will be the location that we can choose. For additional sort rules, we can always add more. Like in this case, if I didn't want to skip those client devices, I have the option here to choose from that list to then assign it to specific asset layouts within Hoodoo. After saving those final filter settings, we run our last sync. So I'm going to stop the sync again. And of course, at each point, make sure that the test connection is still successful so that way we can identify at each point of this integration if there are any issues we need to look back at. But since the connection was successful, I'm gonna start that sync again, and this will bring in those devices based on the filter options that we did in that previous section. After that final sync, we can see all of those types of entities coming through. Now, as another note with Unify, we are able to bring in those network details and also assign it to your network section. So if you already have those items defined in Unify, Hoodoo will be able to bring those over and map them within your instance. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us on support. We're always happy to chat. Thank you.